Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, here's what we got going on today in this episode of Garage Science with the Curious HVAC guy. This right here is the evaporator barrel out of an isomatic ice machine. And I don't know exactly whatever happened to it, but I do know this rotor that's left on the gearbox here spins rather freely. So I'm guessing there's an issue inside the gearbox, possibly with the spindle that's attached to the bottom of this rotor. Now the other thing that I've found just a handful of times is the bearing will go bad on this and the auger or the screw inside this evaporator barrel will jam up. So what we're going to do is we are going to disassemble this gearbox, see what's going on inside there. Then we're going to disassemble this evaporator barrel and see what's going on inside there. Then what I want to do, I'm not sure how well this will work out, but what I want to do is I want to take and cut a chunk right out of this evaporator barrel only so I can see how the refrigerant is routed through this evaporator barrel. I imagine it'll look something like a honeycomb, but I'm not 100% sure. But we will be once we slice it in half, right? So stick around, guys. Let's do some funky camera tricks with some music, all right? What we're going to do first is disassemble this evaporator barrel. All right, we got our screw slash auger loosened up. I don't know how well this is coming across on camera, but if you look real close, you can see where it's been sort of digging into the inside of the evaporator. There's the peak at the inside there, guys. So let's stand it up and pull that gearbox apart. Yeah, right down here. These are the bolts that I'm going to pop out to attempt to remove this evaporator barrel off the gearbox. and get some get some leverage on there there we go and that is our evaporator barrel look right down in there it looks like there's a snap ring I'm going to take that out and see what happens. Hmm. Looks to be just a seal of some sort that was down inside there. All right, there's our drip paint. That's garbage. You know, taking it apart like this, it kind of looks, if I had to guess, that they had a a seal go bad and maybe the condensation was getting down inside this gearbox All right, one more bolt to go.
There's our gearbox assembly, of course, our evaporator barrel. All right, so I got my rotor put back in the gearbox. Of course, gearbox is upside down, exposing all my gears. Hmm. Neato. So right here is our evaporator barrel. It's actually much simpler than I expected it to be. Looks like it's just, uh, get this insulation off here. Yeah, it looks like it's just copper tubing wrapped around a stainless steel barrel. And then it's dipped in, uh, I don't know, stainless, nickel, something. But let's cut it in half anyway. Well, there's part of the evaporator barrel. Not sure how well you can see this on camera, but these tubes look like they were all just rounded tubes and one side was flattened out and they were just wrapped around this barrel. I was thinking that they just had like a honeycomb design in the wall of this barrel, but that's not the case at all. Yeah, honestly, it's a pretty simple design. I know you guys are probably thinking, I could have just Googled it to see what this looks like, but I can't really use my angle grinder to Google stuff, can I? Anyway, guys, that does it for tonight, all right? I hope you enjoyed this little episode of Garage Science, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's just where I come out in my garage and I, I cut apart, right? So, until next time, guys, stay curious. I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, too. It's a little button down below. We'll see you.